What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. I'm at the Winnebago booth. And as you can see, they got something new that I've never seen before. I don't think anybody's doing this. And uh, what it is, is this is a micro travel trailer, which I've seen small travel trailers. But I've never seen a travel trailer that has everything, like literally everything you could possibly want. Because usually they're so small, they have to leave out something. But this one has everything. This one has two queen-size beds. I think they're queen-size beds, but there's two queen-size beds in here. So you could fit four adults, maybe even five adults. I mean, this thing literally has everything a big travel trailer has, but just shrunk down to the, the smallest possible form factor. And it's rugged as hell. <laughs> so let's take a closer look at this thing. So starting from the outside, pretty typical on the hookups here, bumper pull. Uh, it's got, I believe that's uh, one propane tank there, which is really all you need. These big uh, 20 pounders last a very long time. Power tongue jack. All right, so before we talk about the outside, let's go look on the inside because that's really where the magic is. So first things first, you see it's got these barn doors that open nice and big in the back. It's a toy hauler. So you can put all the beds away and all the chairs away. And you can carry all your toys. This is meant for non-motorized vehicles because there's no vents. Uh, so kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, um, mountain bikes, e-bikes, all that kind of good stuff. That's really what it's designed for. It's got the tie-downs and everything. So, man, I am just like blown away. I'm super excited about this trailer. It's like, I really want one because <laughs> it's so small, but packed. It can fit my family of five. I have a family of five. I got three kids. You know, mom and dad can sleep down there and my three kids can sleep up here and it fits us. That's very rare in this industry to fit a family of five in such a small camper. Um, it has a Truma Aventa AC unit, highly efficient. And here's the other part. My wife does not want to go camping without a toilet and a shower. She wants to shower every day and use up all the water we got. <laughs> and they got it, man, look at this. So it's a wet bath, you got your sink, there's your uh, uh, recycling system. So it saves water, it's got a skylight for tall people. Here, let me just get in here. There you go. Tons of room in there, get the job done. You got storage or uh, clothes hanger if you want to hang your clothes and then there's your cassette toilet that's nice and then here's your sink stainless steel that is nice and nice tall sink too so you can fit your pots and pans or whatever some storage up there Pots and pans go down there. We got a little fridge. Just enough to get the job done. You can always put another portable fridge right here if you wanted to. It's a cargo trailer, so you can carry all kinds of gear in here. And then put the fridge outside when you get to camp. Here's your microwave, pantry, or whatever. You can put whatever you want, obviously. I'd probably put more food in there. There's all your controls, like you would have in an RV. Heater, pump, lights, retract the awning, check the levels and all that stuff. But yeah, that's nice, man. That is so cool, man. I love it. So you got AC when you're camping in the heat. And you got a heater when you're camping in the cold. I don't know if it's four season, but I'm sure it's... Um, extended season as they like to say I like the fact that you could clamp on almost any any attachment to these bars here so Yakima racks or whatever whoever makes clamps for bars you could put anything on this thing it's like an exoskeleton and then you got these nerf bars too to deflect rocks and trees and whatever when you're going down tighter trails that's awesome 
And then of course, storage boxes over the fenders. I've never seen anybody do that. That's so cool. Love it. Let me see if I can get some of the uh, reps to talk about this as well. All right, so uh, we're gonna demonstrate how you put the beds all the way up and then we'll put them down too for you. There it is. There you go. So as you can see, they just locked in the pins so it cannot fall down and it's obviously perched up on those, those steel L brackets. So it's nice and safe up there. And then if you want to put a kayak or bicycles or whatever you want, stand up paddle boards, you can make all kinds of room in here. So the back's locked down and then all the way up. There we go. Gotcha, so let me show a little wide angle shot here. Both sides go up flat and it's strap. A, it's, a car, it's a toy hauler. It's for non-combustible. It's active outdoor lifestyle. Oh, hauler. so like bikes, kayaks. E-bikes, e -bikes, kayaks, yeah. paddle boards. That so, is awesome. And it's got 100% composite flooring. Uh -huh. So no wood or luon or anything. 100% composite material. Yeah. Weighs 3,000 pounds. But it has 16 yeah. inch Goodyear tires and mm -hmm. a 4,000 pound axle, so you still have 4,200 yeah. pound GVWR for wow. over 1,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. But the nice thing is, being a small trailer, 13 foot box, 16 foot overall length, yeah. it's perfect cool. for e bikes. E bikes, yeah. yeah. I have four e bikes right now. Yeah. <laughs> this would literally. How much are your bikes weigh? Uh, e bikes? Because they're uh, not uh, my e like well, that's one of them right there. I'd okay. say that's about 50, and the heaviest one's about 90. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be totally it's within the, that. The yeah. Exoskeleton on the top too. Mm -hmm. So four bikes in here, four kayaks on top. Yeah. That you really can. Super capable. Yeah. So with the 1,200 pounds and your uh, bikes weighing about 50 pounds a piece, yeah, that still leaves you a whole lot of cargo capacity yep. left over. Yeah. So to, to load up your dishes, mm -hmm. whatever other type of gear you might have. Maybe For us, gear. it'll be food and water, probably. Yeah. <laughs> food, water. Yeah. But all that counts. Yeah, so I yeah. mean, even even as heavy as like e-bikes are, you throw mm -hmm. four of them in here and you still got a thousand tons of room. pounds left to play with. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you have suite of like actual RV type appliances <laughs> with a portable induction cooktop, yeah. 1.1 convection microwave, you've got an AC-DC refrigerator, and you have a wet bath in there, but the wet bath has integrated dry storage cool. and wet storage. And then one thing we can't show here is there's supposed to be, there's a batwing awning that slides uh -huh. into that track. And along there, and then on the off camp side, there's a private 30 by 36 shower room. So you actually Man. can just shower outside. This thing really kind of does everything. And it's it reversible. So if you want it, your headboard on this side, uh -huh. you can. If you want the headboard on oh, this side. Oh, this acts like a headboard. Yep. yep. Oh. And then this table right here will oh. actually slide right in there. It's narrow. So if oh. you had to dine in here, you could sit four people on it. Man, can I go up in here? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that is yep, so cool. Step on the Nerf bar there. You've got a two inch oh. accessory receiver hitch. <laughs> I love this, man. I have three kids, and the biggest problem with camping with three kids is we almost don't ever have enough room yeah. for everybody. We have to put them in a tent somewhere or get a bigger trailer. I've never seen a small trailer where you can fit three so, kids on the bottom or three kids up top. What's cool about that is I, uh, so I'm, I'm head of our product design for mm -hmm. Winnebago Towables. I have three kids, six, four, and 20 months. So mm -hmm. based on our demand landscape and working with our, um, you know, market research company and polling owners, but I also mm -hmm. thought like, I need a small lightweight trailer that can at least fit a family of five. Yeah. You know, and you could do six, but it's it's really, I mean, you have big sleeping arrangements here. Yeah, it seems like everybody caters to like the couples or maybe a couple and a dog, maybe a kid or two, but never five. Yeah. It's hard for us people with five five people in a small uh, footprint. In a small trailer. I mean, you can always go bigger. Yeah. This is this is amazing. I think we can sell these like hotcakes. Our engineering team, I mean, based on the, the feedback we got from market research and just mm -hmm. a few, you know, bullet light items, our engineering mm -hmm. team packed a lot of pop into a 13-foot mm -hmm. box. You know, another thing that I noticed too is like guys with $3,000 e-bikes like I have over there, I don't want to keep it outside. Correct. I want to keep it in here. Yeah. Correct. That's what I would do too. <laughs> That's cool. I love it. You got a portable yeah. cooktop induction, oh, cook induction yeah. so you can use it inside or outside. We That's got TFI outlets out there for you. Do you any off-grid type 
though. Yeah, from time to time, yeah. So this has our flex package. Uh -huh. So this comes from the factory direct with the 320 amp hour lithium battery. It's the mm -hmm. Lithionics. It's the only UL listed battery because it has an internal battery management system with an internal heating core. Mm -hmm. So extended season camping it gets down to a close to freezing temperatures. It will automatically kick on and warm itself mm -hmm. up. We have a 3000 watt XC Pro pure sine wave inverter on here. Wow. As well as upgraded solar. You've got a 190 watt solar panel on the roof with a 30 amp MPPT charge controller and side mount solar prep for expandable capabilities. Nice. And then we have a suite of Truma appliances. So you have their mm -hmm. AquaGo water heater, mm -hmm. which is so efficient that you could take a 20 minute shower once a day for 30 days and not mm -hmm. consume a 20 pound tank. <laughs> it has their very heat furnace that uh -huh. is a nice soft quiet even flow the actual output duct mm -hmm. is that small diameter right there yeah. and you're heating such a small space it doesn't take long mm -hmm. we actually have thicker two inch uh, thick sidewalls fully enclosed underbelly we have 12 volt tank pad heaters wow. in the underbelly so again you're going to be good for extended season camping yeah. but then also we have their uh, aventa air, air conditioner from truma oh it's, i didn't even know that was there it's, it's so low profile Low profile, but it's 110 powered, but it's so efficient that it can be run off of the battery and inverter. What? So, it, yeah. like right now in today's temperature here, it's 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 warm, but it's not super hot yet. Yeah. It's not you know you don't have the humidity. You could go three hours before you'd want to shut it down, wow. and then still give some sufficient daylight to still charge recharge mm -hmm. your battery. Can you run this the way it's set up right yeah, now? Absolutely. Oh, you can turn right, here, it on. Let me come around if you want it. I mean, you could go close off that other side so all the it air pushes it this here, way. I'm just gonna. I want to turn the vent on first. Okay, so we're not plugged into anything right now. So it's running off the battery. Yep. Wow. So I want to put big. the vent on first because wow. then. I want you to hear the compressor kick on when I turn the AC on to see like mm -hmm. you don't feel like a power surge or how and how quiet it is. Oh, it just kicked down there. Oh yeah, you barely notice it. Barely yeah. hear it. Wow, that is impressive. Oh nice. So that's a cassette, right? Cassette toilet. Uh -huh. Got your integrated water, but this is also the shower miser system. Mm -hmm. So again, when you're going to be off grid. You have a 31 gallon fresh, 25 gallon gray, but you want to conserve everything. Mm -hmm. So here, what you can do is I can cl I can shut this valve off and that will allow the water to circulate within itself. And when it warms up, this elbow right here will turn kind of white and then you can flip the valve and then it'll allow water to run to the shower head. So again, you conserve your fresh and conserve your gray tank. You're not wasting. Yeah. But again, if you have any wet goods you could hang from the towel bar and then we deliberately leave this gap up top and then you have venting capabilities with your power vent oh, here. Oh nice. Yeah I can feel that cold air blowing on me. That's pretty good. <laughs> so we got power awning, mm -hmm. what we talked about your 12 volt tank pad heater, your normal water pump, but what's really cool is when you come outside 16 inch six lug Goodyear off-road tires. You've got the Dexter torsion axle suspension with a rubberized core. Mm -hmm. And then again, this is not just functional um, from you know protecting mud and everything and brush from hitting, but then again, <laughs> what? When you come to your campsite storage, <laughs> and then you can plug in. We have a propane quick connect here that you can drop in your LP cooktop. That's cool. That's like the most functional fender I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> you have that is a awesome. Quick spray, quick connect spray port here. So again, I don't. I just got back from a hike and yeah. don't need to track in. You just clean uh -huh. yourself off, or clean your dogs or kids off nice. right by the door and go in. Oh, and then as we cool. come around the front, power tongue jack here, so you're not cranking anything. I've got all four corners of power stabilization jacks. I'll have two buttons for the front and two for the rear so I can oh. independently operate all four corners. So you don't need a drill? No drill. Yeah, that's Nothing. cool. <laughs> it's all push button. And here's what I was talking about. The, the bat wing awning on this side uh -huh. will come right up to the uh, ladder here. And then with your outside shower right here, I'll have, I can clip in and have a 30 by 36 private shower and mm -hmm. I can stand here and, and change and shower and not have to worry about doing anything inside. Love it. Then you've got your storage fender over here. More storage. This one doesn't fold down, but it just pops up and then you can yeah. have any extra gear here as well. I've never seen storage like that on a fender. That's smart. <laughs> it's kind of like, we kind of took the concept, think about yeah. like, um, 
like truck beds or yeah. like when you get tr and they keep tools in there or saddlebags on yeah. a motorhome. It's like, why can't you have saddlebags or saddlebags on a bike? Yeah. Why can't you have saddlebags on an RV? I think you guys are going to start a trend because that's super smart. Yeah, well, that's cool. Hope not. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to be the only ones. Yeah. Gotcha. I like this too. They love these um, like def uh, deflectors. They're nerf bars. Nerf bars. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're obviously they're good for stepping up here if I want to do anything. But what it really is because the body of this is six uh -huh. and a half foot wide, but with the nerf bars and my offset axles, yeah. it's wider. But this will help if you're going down a tighter uh, tight path. Yeah. It'll help keep any brush off of here from scratching. Yeah. But then we also instead of having your white fiberglass, we put this metal guard on here as well. So that way you're not going to actually scratch the fiberglass. You would have you would have some protection from there. That's a nice touch, and this is a nice touch too. Yeah, so the yeah. exoskeleton, we do have a patent on this. Uh -huh. So this exoskeleton system is patented, and the diameter of it all is plug and play with Yakima and Thule aftermarket oh, accessories. Oh, so you can put more stuff. Kayaks and everything. And I love it. Man, yes, cause this is, you didn't have to do that. That's sure. like a nice thing that you added to, to it. That's cool. I love it. That is awesome. And then the barn doors makes it easy to get in and out. That is so cool. Right on. So I guess the big question is, is how much is something like this cell phone? So the one that the, the one that's sitting here, um, you know, in Redmond, uh, Redmond, Oregon, the MSRP is about sixty-seven thousand. Mm -hmm. That includes freight from Indiana all the way out here. Oh, okay. All right, so if, if anybody watches this video and they, they want to get more information, what's your website? Uh, you'll just go to www.winnebago.com, and then under the models, you'll uh, navigate your way to travel trailer and then hike 100. Cool. Thanks a lot.